Hello everybody, I hope you are well today. We're going to do some spell crafting and today's spell is to release your fears. We're going to use some tarot cards which I'll talk about in a moment. We're going to use some rosemary which most people have in the cupboard. You're going to need some water. I would get bottled water unless you happen to live by a river or a stream or even a sacred spring. This is from Glastonbury Chalice Wells. You're going to need a candle and I've also chosen patchouli oil and pine oil. I have Scots pine and some cardamom pods. I'm going to just break up in a little while and I will list the cards in all of the ingredients in the show notes. So settle down and let's do some grounding. And I think, what am I going to choose today to ground us? We'll choose this Polychrom Jasper Pyramid. So, I'm going to draw the base of this pyramid right down your chakra line. Just feel yourself getting heavier and heavier and heavier. I'll do that again. Relax and relax. Grow those roots or imagine standing on that big stone. One more time, relaxing into your body, taking a breath in and expelling any anxiety, any worry, any stress. Any distractions? Okay, so we have grounded. Take a breath in. Now we need to protect. So imagine that fire at the center of your being and push the flame outwards to the front and the back, above and below. Glow and grow that flame within you pushing everything that doesn't belong to you out. Push the flame outside your auric field so that you expel any negativity, any emotions, any anxieties that aren't yours. And some maybe that are yours, but we're going to work on yours in a minute. And now we're going to, we're going to draw the elements today. We're going to create a circle and I'm going to use this black walnut wand. And black walnut, for those of you who don't know, is a poisonous tree. It creates boundaries around itself. It is poisonous and it poisons the land around it so that no other trees will grow up within its root systems and suck the nutrients out of the soil. So it is a very good tree to use for facing your fears, which this is particularly about creating boundaries and protection. So going to summon up the energy in our solar plexus and we're going to create a circle around us now. We call in the guardians of the north to guard and protect this circle. We call in the guardians of the east to guard and protect this circle. 
call in the guardians of the south to guard and protect this circle. We call in the guardians of the west to guard and protect this circle. We finish the circle up. We ask Grandfather Sky to guard and protect this circle. And we ask Grandmother Earth to guard and protect this circle again, finishing the circle off so it all joins up. We're going to place our wand here. So ground and protect yourself continually for spells. You don't have to do the whole thing, but we are going to ask the guides and the elements to come in today and to help us. Now we need to start preparing. So. We're going to go for the fire. And the fire is the rosemary. And rosemary is good for exorcisms, healing health, love and purification. So there is about a teaspoon in here. One for the fire. One for the air. One for the earth. And the last one for the water, and that's come out of my little fire offering. Now, cardamom is something different. Here we go with, I'm going to take four pods, one for earth, air, fire and water again. And they come in these little pods, so we need to break them up. So we put them into this mortar and I would suggest that you put a piece of fabric and we are going to grind. Grind, really put your strength into this. Face my fears at any time of year. Pull out the stress less and less. Awake and anew, I will walk through. Face my fears at any time of year. Pull out the stress, less and less. Awake and anew, I will walk through. any time of year. Pull out the stress less and less. Awake and anew I will walk through. Now let's just take out these husks. So when you're doing spell work and you're preparing things Really feel it with your solar plexus, okay? Because the more energy you can put in, the more wishing, the better it's going to be and the more preparation. I pretty much spent all of yesterday preparing this spell, researching in books and things like that. The moon phase would be a waning moon. Maybe as close to dark moon as you can get it. I will be posting this a little bit early so that you can get it ready and do it yourself or I can do it with you. So, face my fears at any time of year. Pull out the stress less and less. Awake and in you I will walk through. Face my fears at any time of year. Pull out the stress less and less awake and anew I will walk through and we are going to visualize with the cards whilst this is burning face my fears at any time of year 
pull out the stress less and less awake and in you I will walk through okay we do it once more for luck face my fears at any time of year pull out the stress less and less awake and in you I will walk through okay Brush off the excess cardamom with my raven feather, which is protective. And cardamom is aligned to the water element. And it is for lust and love. And you're thinking, why has she chosen this? Because quite often the things that we desire most are what we are most afraid of. Okay. So. We're going to brush. And cardamom, I actually use cardamom all the time. I anoint my fingers with it when I play the sitar because we have to have... Um, oil on our fingers to move up and down the metal strings so I mix it with turmeric oil because I have arthritis and it really helps and I also crush a pod every day and I put a pinch in my coffee because it makes it less acidic for those of you who have irritable bowel or some other digestive problems it is very good for that okay so we now have Scots pine which is aligned to the air and it might take a little while I'm going to go for four drops, one for each element, when it finally gets out. Come on you, it's congealing, I need to get a new one. This is one of my favourite oils, I tend to use it in, uh, in Celtic Reiki with silver birch oil, I mix them together to make a spritzer. Come on. Ah, nearly there. Sort of congealed to gum. One for the air. Another for the earth. Another for the fire. And another for the water. Okay. Don't use oils in your pestle and mortar or any wet herbs, okay? Because you will ruin your pestle and mortar. And of course, pine oil was good for exorcisms, healing health, money, riches, and protection. And finally, we have patchouli oil aligned to the earth element. And this is good for love and lust, money, protection, and to ground it in. So again, we'll do four. And you don't have to use these herbs, you can use others. One for the earth, one for the air, one for the fire, one for the water. Okay. Still summoning up that energy in your solar plexus. We are now going to put in a glug of our holy water.
fire, please burn bright, help set our spell tonight. Give it power so we may flower into our life potential at any hour. Okay. And now we're going to look at these cards. Okay. So, the main card for the spell is the tower. Now, most people are very dismayed when this is shown. It is revelations. It is a card of release. It is a card of sudden change. Okay, so this is the main card. Then, you can pick cards out of the tarot deck that perhaps you are worried about. Here we have the Ten of Wands. Maybe you're worried about the burdens and the obligations that you have to carry in your life. Maybe you are a victim of your own success. Things have gone so well that you are bogged down with those. Next I've chosen the Three of Swords card of pain, sorrow, separation and heartache. Then I have chosen the five of pentacles or shields or coins they're called. This is shields in this deck. And the five of coins is aligned to poverty, unemployment and confusion, not being able to see the wood through the trees. Or are you afraid of the Ten of Cups? Are you afraid of contentment? Are you afraid of joy? Are you afraid of domestic bliss? You know, very fine line by what we desire and what scares us. Sometimes things go so well we sabotage them. So I'm going to put this as our main card and we're going to have these. And I want you now to focus on one of those ones that you are most frightened of, okay? As I start stirring this and I'd like you to enter the card that you are most worried about the one that you fear the most move my hand so you can see select an aspect in the card to focus upon and then imagine a zipper on the aspect of your fear. So enter into the card and focus upon what it is you are most worried about. Okay, I'll read those things out again. The Ten of Wands, are you afraid of your burdens and your obligations? Are you a victim of your own success? The Three of Swords. Are you afraid of pain and sorrow and separation and heartache? The Five of Coins. Are you afraid of poverty, unemployment and confusion? And then the Ten of Cauldrons of Cups. Are you afraid of contentment, of joy, and of domestic bliss? Have a look at those cards now. Focus on one of the aspects within the card. Maybe you want to focus upon the bent over back and the heaviness of the responsibilities. Maybe you are going through that heartache. Or maybe you are in a blissful relationship. Maybe you're worried that you won't be able 
to feed or heat yourself. Focusing on that fire. Or maybe you are afraid of that wedded bliss, that happiness, that joy that we can, if we open up, experience. Remember, whatever it is you're worried about or whatever it is you're going through, life can change. It does change very often. Focus and imagine a zipper over the aspect of your fears and unzip that zipper. Now, look to the fire, look to the tower, hear the crack of thunder, feel the heat of the lightning and imagine smelling the smoke as your fear is turned inside and out. And now, gaze at what lies opposite that fear if you fear the heartache, gaze at the contentment. If you are worried of the contentment, gaze at the heartache. If you are worried about your burdens, gaze at the castle where you can put down your load and ask others to help you. If you are afraid of the poverty and the unemployment and the confusion, Gaze at that light or one of those coins. Focus on it. Feel it. What does it look like? Your fear as you move away from it is now in an opposite state. Now walk towards your goal. Dwell within it, breathing in and breathing out, breathing in and breathing out, breathing in. And breathing out, face my fears any time of the year, pull out the stress, less and less, awaken and anew, I will walk through. Facing my fears at any time of the year, pulling out the stress, less and less, awaken and anew, and I will walk through. Taking that breath in, focusing on what you fear, Visualizing walking through it to the opposite state. Hearing the crack of thunder. Feeling the heat of lightning as it bursts through those fears and disintegrates them. Smell that burning, that purging of your fears. And incidentally, you can pick any of the other tarot cards if you fear those. I just tried to pick some that I know most people probably worry about. I would just 
probably pick one at a time for yourself, but because there are many of you out there and we all have different issues and different worries, I picked one from each suit. But I suppose this could be a path working, couldn't it? You could do most of the cards if you wish to. Take a journey through the tarot deck. Of all of the suits and indeed of all of the major arcanas. For instance, if you fear change... Focus on the Wheel of Fortune along with the Tower. The Tower is the mainstay. Okay, so let's just... And I'm going to pick up... This is my grimoire. This is my Book of Shadows. Okay, ignore of the scribblings. I'm just going to show you this so you can say it with me. Face my fears at any time of year pull out the stress less and less awake and anew i will walk through twice more face my fears at any time of year pull out the stress less and less awake and anew i will walk through and one more for the power of three. Face my fears at any time of year. Pull out the stress less and less. Awake and anew I will walk through. Okay. So we are now going to leave this up until the candle burns down and that tends to be about two to three hours in my home if I've got a window open and there's a breeze then it'll be sooner than that but as I just stir things up and it's simmering the rosemary is softening the patchouli and the Scots pine is mixing and merging and the cardamom is taking the acidic nature out of the stings of your worries. Okay. So ground in this healing spell if you go like this and bring it into you bring in the energy within you into your third eye where you worry into your throat where you hold subjects and conversations into your heart into your solar plexus into your sacral and emotional center and then finally into the root and you're probably thinking why didn't she do the crown because most people's crown is intact it is that connection that hotline to the creator and our guides and our angels okay Burning some of this energy, sending a little bit of Reiki into this healing spell for you. And even though I'm going to set the energy of this spell for when the candle runs out. I'm going to take the circle down but I'm going to do a little time slip here and the circle is not coming down until the spell is complete and I'm going to set that energy and draw a distance healing 
symbol of Honsha Tse Shoten to set it into time and space. And then we take our walnut wand again, we point it at the earth. And we ask Grand Mother Earth, we thank her for her protection and we bid her farewell. We make the circle up to Grandfather Sky. We thank you for your protection and we bid you farewell. Then we point our wand at the West and we thank the Guardians of the West for their protection and we bid them farewell. We thank the Guardians of the South for their protection and we bid them farewell. We thank the Guardians of the East for their protection and we bid them farewell. And we thank the Guardians of the North for their protection and we bid them farewell. We go round to the West because we have to complete our circle. You may have felt a shift in energy, you may have felt a rush of cold air or warm air as that was taken down. But know that this spell will be left to burn for everybody who watches whenever they come across this video. Take a breath in and relax, ground again with the polychrome pyramid. Feel that heaviness, feel that rooting and feel that spell being brought into your body. Grounding it in, working through your fears. So I thank you for watching and Hopefully I've given you another little idea of something, some spell crafting that you can do yourself. As you see, it needn't be hard. You can go all out and get some wacky ingredients if you want. Looking at charts, looking at moon phases, even looking at the hours of planets if you wish to get deeper into it. But for simple spell crafting, it needn't be too hard. But the preparation that you put in will show in the results. Okay, so I'm going to love you and leave you now. And peace be upon your day and peace be upon your families. Bye bye now.